I, I gotta say, the, the election results to me, the second most depressing story of the week. This was the first. They said human influence on the climate system is clear. They've said that for years. They said we are looking at an unprecedented uh, amount of carbon at least in the last 800,000 years. And then they talked about sea levels rising, the oceans are becoming too acidic for anything to live in them, you know, crop yields will be down, drought. So of course, what do the geniuses in America do? They elect a bunch of climate deniers. And for those people who say it doesn't matter who you elect, I want to show you a few quotes here. These are people who either lost or were in office or didn't win. Out is this guy from Iowa, ran against Joni Ernst. He said climate disruption is real and absolutely needs to be addressed. Joni Ernst says, I have not seen proven proof. <laughs> because she's an idiotic idiot. <laughs> that it is entirely mad-made. I don't know the science behind climate change. Yes, moron, but there are people who do. I've heard arguments on both sides. Okay. <clears throat> Colorado, Mark Udall, out. He said, Colorado's persistent drought, successive mega fires, and destructive floods show why Congress needs to act ASAP. The idiot who took his place? I don't think he could say yes or no. <laughs> okay, moving on. Alaska, Mark Begich, out. Urgent, he called climate change. This fuckhead said, <laughs> the jury is still out on climate change. No, it's not. Harry Reid, of course, out as majority leader. Harry said we should be facing the reality of climate change. Climate change is here. Mitch McConnell, of course, the king of coal, denying glo global warming is why he gets paid. He says, for everyone who thinks it's warming, I can find someone who thinks it isn't. Yes, the lobbyist you have drinks with, you chinless <laughs> fuck. And here's uh, Barbara Boxer was heading the committee about the environment, right? She said, man-made climate change is a planetary emergency and one of the most important challenges facing humankind. And of course, now the guy taking over, James Inhofe, the worst. God's still up there, he says. The arrogance of people to think that we human beings would be able to change what he is doing in the climate. Oof, wow. See, I love that. He's mad. We shouldn't be mad. He's mad that we're even bringing this up because God's still up there. Well, um, you have to be ashamed these people are on your team. Please tell me you're ashamed these people are on your team. So, so let's take Cory Gardner, the guy from Colorado that you put up there. He also ran ads where he's standing in front of wind farms talking about how he wants to see an expansion in green energy. Um, it's, what's really fascinating is you can actually find a lot of Republicans who want to see us come up with new ways so that we're not... <laughs> well, you're giving me this look like I'm a crazy person. Well, I mean... Uh, like, look, the uh, polls show that half of, half of Republicans in polls say they believe climate change is yeah. happening and half not. in the United States Congress. <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I sit, I sit on the Environmental Committee, right. chaired by California's Barbara Boxer, by the way, who has done a great job on this issue. Well, and look, two issues. Uh, number one, the scientific community, as you have just indicated, the debate is over, debate except is. within the Republican Party. Right. Climate change is real. It is already causing devastating problems. But here's the second issue, Bill, and it gets back to a very important issue. It's not that these Republicans are dumb. They get huge sums of money from the Koch brothers and from the fossil fuel industry, and they are not going to stand up to the people who contribute to their campaigns. It's not more complicated than that. It's going to be wild, though. I mean, Senator Inhofe from Oklahoma, I've covered him for five years. He is not going to sit back as committee chairman at the Environment and Public Works. I think he's going to be an activist chairman. You probably have an opinion on this as well. But this is a guy who wants to go after climate change. And those yeah, and, and Bernie, I think you're underestimating their stupidity. <laughs> I, I really, I mean, I think, I think Inhofe really believes God is still up there. Uh, and, and when these people say, you know, I, I don't know about climate change, I'm not a scientist, I always want to say, yeah, but you're not a gynecologist. You, that did, <laughs> didn't stop you from talking about vaginas all those years. 
No, but that's the point. No, I don't agree with you. I don't think, you know, we have in... You think in, Inhofe knows better? No, Inhofe, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, okay. I know Jim Inhofe, and Jim is a very nice guy. Yeah. He believes what he believes. Yes, But okay. you've got other people uh, there who are, in right. fact, physicians, who are well-educated people so who do a, know so better. So what you're saying is the party is a coalition of the greedy, cynical, and the truly stupid. What? <laughs> what? But if you're going to run for... What a, what a, 